Okay. Hi. <laughs> All right, my boys. What is main idea? Do you remember what main idea is? No. Does it sound familiar? Kind of. What if I told you that main idea is what the story or the text is mostly about? Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Tristan likes to say it almost every day. Tristan does like to say it almost every day, but Tristan remembered it. So we gotta make sure you two remember it. So it's what the what is mostly about? The story. The story or? What's that? Main idea. Not main idea. That's what main idea is in knucklehead. Or what's that word? It starts with a T. 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 X. T. X. T. X. T. X. Please. Okay, so it is what the text or story is what? It's about. Very good. Tell, tell me again. What is main idea? Mostly about the story oh. and the text. Okay. So it's what the story is mostly about. Okay, and what helps us figure out main idea? What do we call those things that help us figure out what the main idea is? The story, but there's little things in the story that help us figure out what this meant. Details. Yes, but you're helpful. So details. Details are little bits of information or situations or things that help us figure out what that main idea is. Main idea. Main idea. Tiny. Little, so it's a little supporting helpful thing. For cheese. Or sentences. Sentences, paragraphs. Not, well, yes, because you can have main ideas and details in paragraphs. Paragraphs. So they help us find the main idea. And the T-Rex. What about the T-Rex? The text. There you go. Slash. Very good. So we have that. All right? All right. So, so. you can probably remember, Hayden, I'm sure Ms. Sosa did it. Have you done the ice cream cones? What? Do you remember, do you remember doing that to do with ice cream cones to find an idea? Ice cream. Well, what's the cone supposed to be for? Um, for... Is it the details or the main idea? The main idea. Main idea. So that's your base. So that's what the whole story is about. So that's the base. Okay. Then you have ice cream scoops. Ice cream. And what do those ice creams represent? The details. The details. Now think about it. If you read a story that was just about a dog, and there, that was it, just a dog, the end. You have your main idea. Is it really exciting? No. But if you said that the dog had was big like Clifford and he had sharp teeth like fangs and he, he hunts in the woods. He has three heads. He has three heads. Did the story get a lot better? Yeah. At the back, those are your little details. And don't you like it? Would you rather have a plain ice cream cone or would you like to have an ice cream cone with lots and lots of scoops on it? Scoops on it. More scoops and that's the idea of what we're doing. So we're going to practice our main idea. Now, I am going to read it to you. Don't freak out about how big it is. It's not that bad. But here's the thing. I'm going to read you the story. And we, on your whiteboard, we're going to make our own ice cream scoops every time that we think we come across a main idea or the detail. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So, remind me, what is main idea one more time? What the story slash text is mostly about. Okay, and what are details? Little something sometimes. Little, little supporting. supporting sentences to help to find the M dot I dot. What do you think the MI is? What do you think that stands for? I know. What is it? Ma main idea. Very good. And it's main idea. Just a sh shorter way of saying main idea. Very good. All right, so I'm going to borrow this hat. So we're going to listen out loud. You ready? And here you can look at it. We're going to read here. Luca's grandpa lives on a farm. His grandpa has a big garden and many animals. When Luca was little, he was afraid of chickens. She helped, when he helped his grandpa feed the chickens, the chickens chased him, crying, cluck, cluck, cluck. But his grandpa showed him how to shoo the chickens away with his, with his hand, saying, shoo, chicks, shoo, chicks. 
Luca still doesn't like the chickens much, but he isn't afraid of them now. He feels very grown up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Mm. My mom said we're going to fly in there. Oh, goodness. How dare you? So, let me ask you, who's the main character of the story? Um, Luca. Luca. It was Luca. Okay. Is this from Disney? No, honey. And why? Because Luca's a common name. And where is the story taking place? In the farm. Uh, Whose farm? Grandpa's farm. Grandpa's farm. And what's kind of the issue that Luca's having on Grandpa's farm? The chickens. What about the chickens? They chase him. So is he a fan of the chickens? No. No. One tiny one chase Okay. So what do you think? It says, what is, what is this whole story mostly about? Circle your answer. I want you to turn and talk and talk at each other talk. Do you think it's about Grandpa's garden, Luca and the chickens, or Luca's favorite animal? What do you think? Hi. Hi. Based on the story that I just read to you, which of these three choices, Grandpa's garden, Luca and the chickens, Luca's favorite animal, which one do you think the story is mostly about? Chickens. Why do you think that? Tell it to Ezekiel. Hayden. Because it talked about chickens. It talked about chickens? And why do you think it's Luca and the chickens, Ezekiel? Because mostly about the chuckles. What's the word? Cheese. Chickens. Thank you. Yay. So go ahead. I'm going to give you each a pen. Peace circle. What do you think it is? And I'll let you know if it's right or not. I have the answers. Oh, very good. Please make yourself an ice cream cone. So you're going to make a triangle upside down. Not with the pen, with the marker. <laughs> the marker. <laughs> There you go. It out of nowhere. Very good. You guys found the main idea. Very good. All right. Here it is. It says number two. Which of these? Uh, which of these is a small piece of information from the story that makes the story more interesting? Okay. So small pieces. What is that known as? Small pieces. Which, which is the, which word is it? Main idea or detail? Very good. So this question is about the what? The details. The details. So your job is to figure out out of these three examples, which one makes the story really, really interesting, okay? So is it Luca drew a picture of the farm? Luca helped pick the vegetables? Or the chicken said cluck, cluck, cluck? What do you think? What are you thinking, Ezekiel? Which one helped make the story a bit more interesting? Luca drew a picture of the farm. Luca helped pick the vegetables. Or the chicken said, cluck, cluck, cluck. Which one's a little support? Mm. Give me high five, people pick the correct one. Go ahead, draw your ice cream scoop now on your with the marker. Marker, draw an ice cream scoop on top of your cone. Look at that. Delicious. Very good. Think about it. We're getting school zones out tomorrow. It's I know, but it's I know, but it'll be okay. Yes. Alright, so we are again going to work. Uh, main idea and details. What's a detail again? Details. Little supporting sentences to help find to find the main idea. Very good. And what is the main idea? One more time. Look at me. Sorry. What's the main idea? What the story of our text is mostly about. Good. You say what is it? What's the main idea? Uh, what the? 
what the what what do they call this? Sentences. All these sentences make up a what? Chapter book. What is that called? Story is what? What the story is? Yeah, what the story is mostly about. Good. All right, here you go. You're gonna you're gonna follow along while I read this one to you. Okay. Alex's grandpa lives in a big city on the 18th floor of an apartment building. From his grandpa's window, Alex can see the whole city. Alex used to be afraid to look out the windows because they were so high. But his grandpa would sit with Alex and point out all the interesting things in the city. Now Alex likes to look out at his grandpa's window. He can see the library, the train station, and the park. He feels very grown up. Who's the main character of my story? Alex. Alex. And where is the story mostly taking place? Apartment. Okay, an apartment. Whose apartment? Grandpa's apartment. Grandpa's apartment. Where can I find an apartment? Where is the apartment that Grandpa lives in? Where can I find? Where is it, Hayden? Where can I find Grandpa's apartment? Help them out. Point it out to him. Right there, child. Right there. Okay, so it says Alex's grandpa lives in a big city. A big city. So grandpa lives in a big city. Hayden, what floor in the apartment does grandpa live on? 18th what? Good. And um, how did Alex feel in the beginning of the story about going to grandpa's apartment? Why was he scared? Oh, Hayden, did that change at the end of the story? Can you point to me where it says that he kind of likes the window now? He likes looking out the window? Very good. Look at you guys. That's okay, neither does Alex apparently at the store. I don't like looking out high windows. Oh my goodness. Alright, you ready? Yeah. You ready to add more ice cream scoops to those cones? Alright, here we go. What is this whole story mostly about? So if I'm asking mostly about, is that details, supporting details, or main idea? Main idea. Main idea. So it says Alex takes a train ride. Alex rides um, the elevator, or Alex in his grandpa's window. Which one is the story mostly about? Alex takes a train ride, Alex rides the elevator, or Alex and his grandpa's window? Which one is it about? Can we read again? What is the whole story mostly about? Alex takes a train ride. Alex rides the elevator. Alex and his grandpa's window. Yes, go ahead with the marker. Add an ice cream scoop. Look at you, you're building such beautiful cones. I love it. Okay. It's melting. It's melting. Or it's some special flavor of ice cream. Let's they could have like, ah, it's ah, ah. Ah. All right, you ready? Which of these is a small piece of information from the story that makes the story more interesting? So small piece of information is what? Details. Details. Say it louder. What is it? Details. Details. All right, so we're looking for an example from the story that makes the story exciting, right? Because remember, without all those details, you got just a plain cone and it's boring. Okay. All of the details are exciting and we want it all, right? We want to read more and more. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, ready? It says, Grandpa's apartment is on the 18th floor. Does that, does that sound exciting? The train station is bu a busy place. There is an elevator in Alex's grandpa's building. Yeah. Mm. I like Alex's 
later. Now let's think about it. Interesting. Did the story, let's think about the story. Did the story mention anything about a train station? No. So what can we do with that question? Can we use it or can we get it out of the way? Cross it away. Cross it out. So cross out that one. Okay. Now, there's nothing about a train station. So now you're down to Grandpa's apartment is on the 18th floor, or there is an elevator in Alex's Grandpa's building. Now, we'll go. now what should we do if we're not sure? We're down to two questions. Look in the text. Do we need to reread the text? Would you like, would you want to reread it, or do you want Miss M to reread it? Thank you, my child. So I want you to listen, and you're looking out for either Grandpa's eight building on the Grandpa lives on the 18th floor, or the, about the elevator. Okay. Alex's Grandpa lives in a big city on the 18th floor of an apartment building. From his Grandpa's window, Alex can see the whole city. Alex used to be afraid to look out the window because they were so were up so high. But his Grandpa would sit with Alex and point out all the interesting things in the city. Now Alex likes to look out his grandpa's window and he can see the so sorry. and the train station and the so car. sorry, can you call extension 201 please? He feels very grown up. Which was mentioned? Grandpa's apartment is on the 18th floor. And why is that so important for our main idea about Alex and, Alex and his grandpa's window? It says... Alex's grandpa lives in a big city. Uh huh. One, the. Uh huh. And did Alex? Does it seem like Alex likes to be up high? No. No. So is that knowing that Grandpa's apartment is on the 18th floor? Is that important for our story? No. Yes. If he yes. doesn't like, think about it. If he doesn't like heights, and he's afraid of heights, it's really important for us as the reader to know that his. The reason why is because the grandpa lives on a high floor. Yeah. Yes. So please circle between those two possible choices. Which one is it? Oh, fabulous. Good job. Add another scoop to those ice creams. With your marker. You're not going to get far with that pen in your hand. You can do it that way. Okay. All right, your last question. This is for the extra scoop. You ready? You ready? You were really ready? Okay. Number five. Make up one more detail that would make this story even more interesting. They want you to make up one more detail. You. No, you. I don't need to do it. You. You. Okay. What is another detail that you could add to Alex's story that can make it more interesting? Um, a fish jumped out the window. <laughs> a fish jumped out the window? I was what? kind of thinking the same thing. You were thinking of the same thing? Okay. Um, what floor is the fish jumping out of? Is the fish grandpa's neighbor? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but how does that help us with our story? <laughs> It does make it, you did answer that, it does make it more interesting. Well, because it's his, it's the grandpa's pet. It's grandpa's pet. He put it near the window and then uh -huh. it jumped but out. How did he it jump legs. out? He has legs. He has legs. A fish with it's a legs. Kangaroo, it's a kangaroo fish. It's a kangaroo fish that jumped out the window. Yeah. With whiskers. What floor is he jumping out of? The AT. I'll take it out and you definitely made it more interesting. Go ahead and add an extra scoop. I can't even scroll. I need to put the name on this. Fish. Fish. You're adding the fish. I think. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do final questions. All right, let's do final questions. I'm getting rid of this so you don't have to see this. No, 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 no. You know a lot now. 
Yes. 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 You finish you finish the fish after I answer my question? Thank you. All right. I'm going to ask you. You're going to either tell me it's main idea or details. You ready? What the story or the text is mostly about is what? Main idea. What is it? What the text is mostly about. Main idea. Main idea. And little sentences that make the story more exciting and interesting. Details. Details. And if I had an ice cream scoop and I asked you about there once was a fish on the 18th floor, would you be okay with that story or do you want more? More. So what do I need to add to get more? Details. Details, like the fish that grew legs and, and had whiskers. whiskers that and jumped out the window. Good job, boys. Yeah.